What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I still can't believe that we got this. Um, yeah, still doesn't feel real. But, however, today is gonna be another special video, mainly because there's only one thing wrong with this bike that I see. Basically, there's only one thing that bothers me visually about this bike that I um, when purchased, and I bought that replacement. Let's talk about what it is. In this box, we have the windscreen. The WRS windscreen for the Panigale. I bought this bike used with just under 2,000 miles, but for some reason, the windscreen just seems very, very beat up. Um, and in my opinion, it's the only thing that really takes away from the bike. Now, I've never done this before, obviously, because my first Ducati, but uh, we're gonna try to be very careful about all the little bolts and all the little things that we take off on this bike because I wanna keep it as clean as possible. Um, I don't want anything rattling or anything like that. Comes very nicely packaged. Very, very nicely packaged actually. It's like inside of the phone. Oh. Check that out. That is very, very nice. Super, super clear through it. I can tell you that WRS definitely makes some good quality stuff. All right guys, so if I wanna understand on replacing that um, windscreen, this whole front piece is supposed to come off. Um, in order to do that, there is a bolt right up top in the front, right there. Um, once you take that off, you've got to, I believe, replace, take this little plastic piece off, uh, which just requires um, just a flathead, which they look like this right here. That one. Um, Take those two off, and then you got some screws, one right there and one inside that hole right there as well. Um, let's see, once you remove that, then you gotta take, I believe, the mirrors off. Once you take those mirrors off, I believe at that point this thing's gonna be pretty loose and you'll be able to take off the whole thing. And the reason is we can't just start taking these screws off is because you can't get to these two right here. So you gotta take the whole nose off completely to be able to remove that. So um, again, I'm gonna try to figure this out, basically film it as I go. And um, if there's any changes, I'll let you guys know. Now we're gonna use RT15 and to pop out this little bolt right here on the left. Now we're gonna use a little Allen here to get to the tight spot right in there and take that bolt out. Yeah, I 
go. It's probably the best way to take this thing out. A little magnet. All right, guys. So ran into problem number one. The I'm removing the mirror here, and it looks like whoever worked on this bike previously decided to do two things. They one didn't reinstall both bolts, and two they stripped the top one. So currently trying to figure out how to remove that and get that off. Um, so good job to whoever owned this bike before for stripping a bolt that shouldn't be stripped. That's very upsetting. All right guys, after fighting for literally three hours now, trying to get the mirror off, I finally got it off. And turns out that the guy that owned it previously to me, he uh, he stripped it. So he only had one bolt on there. And he basically forced this side back on. So in order to get this off, I had to completely drill. Using the drill. And basically drill through the screw as you can see. So that's completely done with. So I'm gonna continue doing what we did on the left side, on the right side, and yeah, let's uh, let's finish this install. All right, so it took me 30 seconds to take off that mirror. Now we're gonna remove this bolt, this one, and the two plastics on the inside. Okay, here's that. Then we're gonna use our Allen for the right side. All right, guys. I'm trying to make this make sense. So, in order to remove and pull away this plastic piece, you gotta remove the little plastic bolts right in there, okay? Then, in order to pull it out, I had to remove the carbon fiber cover. This piece right here. I had to remove that to get this one loose, to get it to nicely come out a little bit with now without uh, snapping anything. Once you do that, you can work your way in and kind of move this plastic piece out without completely taking it out. And you're going to find these two bolts. So this hole goes in there and then there's one more in the back. Way, way down there. The bolt's actually still in there. That one right there. So there's two holes, this one and then this one. Once you remove that, as you can tell, the fairing then comes loose and you just have to do it on the other right side as well so not too bad of a job um, a little bit tedious but finding a way around it without snapping anything I think was probably the hardest part since I couldn't really find a proper way there's one video on YouTube but they didn't really explain it very well so I'm doing my best to show you guys how to do this. Um, so now we're just gonna repeat what we just did on this side, on the other side. All right, now that we got both bolts off, they should essentially just pop right off. Just like that, guys. So I had to go to run, home, run a Home Depot and pick up this little torque set. Um, mainly because you need to have a torque 7 to get these little bolts out for your um, for the windscreen <coughs> and they've got to be um, a star there is an old windscreen and here's a new one it comes a little bit further back so we have officially Finish installing all of the little um, T7s back on the front fairing, the top fairing with the windscreen, and I think it looks freaking awesome. So now it's time to just go ahead and start putting this bike back together. Finally, guys did it the bike is completely done <clears throat> this is what the 
WRS windscreen looks like. It looks freaking awesome. Okay guys, this is the final look. It looks freaking awesome. Can't wait to go out riding tomorrow with this and testing it out, seeing how it feels. But in terms of look, I mean, it looks like a brand new bike. So. Check that out guys, such a beautiful bike. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video guys. I hope I helped somebody out uh, in doing this. I started like super early and again, because of what happened, it took me forever, but realistically, they shouldn't take no more than max of like two hours to do. But um, hopefully I explained it well. Hopefully you guys learned something from this, but let me know what you think. Comment down below like if you like the video and subscribe for more stuff like this coming up more ducati stuff honda stuff harleys got some riding videos coming as well but uh i'm really enjoying this channel and what i'm doing here just having fun um and just hope i help somebody out so we'll see you on the next one